don't remember what we were doing last time. Let's make sure the audio is also set. There we go. Okay. Peaceful Hermit World is what we're playing. The framiness should end as soon as the game loads in. I have no recollection of what we were doing last time. I remember there were a lot of bears. We ran into probably like four or five bears. Look, there's a bear right there. Yeah, this is Mushroom Island. It's all coming back to me now. Um... Yes, yes, it's all coming back. Okay. And these rabbits keep trying to steal my stuff. That's right. Get the hell out of here, dude. We've got a good farm on the go. Look at that. What were we actually... I think we need to build a uh, build a base is what we need. And get rid of this friggin' bear, dude. It's killing... I mean, it's good that it's killing these animals because we can take advantage of that. Wait, these aren't dead. They're just sleeping. Okay. What is the time? Do we know the time of day right now? Is this going down or coming up? I think it's coming up. It's hard to tell. What is this game about? This is a really hard, kind of hardcore survival, wilderness survival game. Um, you can think of it, I mean, it looks like Minecraft, but that's really where the similarities end for the most part. You basically, you go through like, um, you go through ages, like tech trees, you know, like we're very much in the Stone Age at the moment. I would like to get to the Copper Age soon. Um, this is where, this is Mushroom Island. We found a uh, copper over here, but before we can mine the copper, we need to find copper nuggets so that we can build our first pickaxe. We need 40 of them. Um, and the way to find those nuggets is on the floor. If you see nuggets on the floor, it means that there's a, a deposit below you, or you can find them through, like, sifting through sand. Um, you want to, you need to, the green bar that you see on the, above the hot bar is our hunger. This game has an amazing cooking system. We have some, uh, we have some hefty red meat stew that I'm going to wait until we get really hungry before we cook that up. We need, f we need a little bit more flint as well. So let's go, let's go pick some like berries and grab some flint and then see if we can find anything along the, along the way. Stay away from the rams, because they will mess you up real quick. Yeah, it's 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 randomized. It uses a... It, kind of like Minecraft, where it generates a random world. Every world is different. Apparently, if you go further north, you get colder climates. And if you go further south, you encounter, like, deserts and stuff. Which is really cool. I think it spawns you... Um, somewhere in, in the middle, between, like, the equator and the pole. I don't know though. There are things like wolves to watch out for. And when night comes there are these guys called drifters. That come and they're really strong and it's kind of terrifying. This game gets really dark at night by the way. Like super dark. Let's have a handful of berries here. The game does a great job of atmosphere though. Like I don't know if you can hear the wind in the background. It does a great job of that. Okay. What direction have we not been? We should... 
We should try and get past this weird granite field. Or um, gravel field is what I meant to say. Don't really have an aim right now, which is never a good idea in this game. Um, are there other... There, so there are traders? Um, but no, there are no other humans other than the traders. It's just you alone. And... There's some flint, by the way. The game actually uses a voxel system of crafting, so let me show you right now. I'm going to make a, a second spear, right? So we get the, the flint in our hand. We control click on the floor. We select uh, spearhead. And then we chip away at the flint using voxels to make our spearhead. This uses one p one piece of, uh, of flint. Then we combine it with... Uh, with a stick kind of like minecraft and there's our second spear and later on once you unlock uh, metalworking there's a, an item called a chisel and oh my god a ruin oh, an amazing ruin what the hell look at this oh we, we could maybe we've already started building our base We've already started building our base, but this would have been perfect. You hiding anything from me? There goes our shovel. Let's build another shovel real quick. This game's a lot of fun, you know, it's weirdly relaxing, but in the evenings it gets incredibly tense. It's a great great game, I recommend it. If you want to play it, you, you get it from the website. Oh my god, this is like a whole village. Alright, this is a cool ruin, I'm marking this for sure on the map. What is this? This is definitely a ruin, but it, it's made out of granite, which is odd. We could spend the day actually um, tearing this down if we want and bringing it back to our base. Yeah, there's treasure all over. There's definitely treasure buried in here somewhere. I don't know where it is, but there's definitely treasure buried in these pots. I kind of want to rip this thing down and, and take it back with us. Cobble skull. What the hell? But we could, we could, I think we can better use our day exploring, and then maybe on the way back we'll pick up some of those uh, cobblestones. I actually don't know if we, can we build cobble? You just need clay and stones. Oh, we can build our own cobble as well, which is good to know. What I'm looking for, really, is copper. And staying away from bears. For obvious reasons. I, I imagine this is a really great game to play, uh, like, in a multiplayer server. My god, there's ruins everywhere around here. This is awesome. See if there's any treasure. Here we go. So this is a this is a jar here, cracked vessel. This is a farming one, so it's probably going to have seeds in it. Yes. But better than that, it has friggin flax fibers. We can rip this apart, I think. We don't need this. We already have too many of these. And we also have cabbage seeds. Awesome. We we haven't found cabbage yet, so that's a new vegetable for us. I'll hopefully be able to show you the cooking system as well, Tavana, because uh, the cooking system in this game is incredible. All right, let's mark this here as well. Maybe tomorrow we come back and we um we grab all of the the cobble to build a house because we've been surviving this whole time 
We're on day... Day 7. And we haven't even built, begun to build a house yet. Copper. Yes. Lots of copper bits, actually. That means under underground here, there's going to be a vein of copper. So we mark this. And we grab the copper bits on the surface. Because this is what we need to use to build our first copper pickaxe. I'm going to make sure we have all of them because they're really valuable. Could be some down here as well. Grab the branch. Alright, I think we got all of the copper. 14 bits is really good actually. That's great. That was a great find. That makes today worth it already. Can't wait until we have a pick. Okay. And you see the little, um, the green cog in the middle of the hot bar? Like, right here. That's like a, a sanity meter. If it starts spinning backwards, it means you're in like an unstable area where things will start to spawn. So you need to keep that in mind as well. Hey, this is kind of a nice area. Quite peaceful. I heard something. I feel like there's going to be wolves. This is looks like an area where wolves would spawn, right? Probably grab some wood since we're out here as well. Yeah, let's grab a little bit. This pickaxe is definitely... Sorry, this axe is definitely about to break. So let's build a new one preemptively. But I myself, I haven't played... I played maybe 60 hours of this game, but I've never really made it past the, uh... Like, the, the Bronze Age. I found iron, and I began to smelt it, but I don't have enough to really do anything with it yet. That's a fucking bear, dude! How did that we not get one-tapped there? Oh, I don't like this. Escaping from a bear, the only good way of doing it is jumping in water because you can kind of outswim them, but on land, you're screwed. Oh my god, it's still chasing me. This is awful. I freaking hate you, dude. Oh, I think I just extinguished all my torches as well like an idiot. I don't know if it's still after me. I'm too scared to look. <sighs> yeah, I, I extinguished all of my torches like an idiot. Good news is we're alive. Bad news is we took a huge hit. <laughs> it's going to take a while for our um, our health to come back. We gotta make sure that we don't get how did we we got snuck up on. It's because I lowered my volume on my end. If if the bear made a noise, I definitely didn't hear it. That was terrifying. That bear really wanted us. Plus, we wasted that piece of flint, which makes me sad. I think you can build tools out of stuff other than flint, but I think the flint is, like, best for uh, durability. Right, let's check this time. I don't see a bear. Let's build another axe. Grab some wood since we're out here. And hopefully find another piece of uh, copper. Oh, we did build our axe. I'm a dum-dum. Okay, let's grab some wood. Then if we survive this evening, we can come back tomorrow and grab that uh, cobblestone and start building an actual base.
I don't know how many pieces of copper we have at this point. I think we might have between 20 and 30. Let's say 25. So we just need 15 more, roughly. We also need to cook up some uh, some coal by making a, a a pit a pit furnace. Okay. Grab this pine here. Just make sure there's no copper about. Like, you can see right now that my gear is spinning backwards. That's generally not good. Come on. This is a big tree. It's taking a while. Alright, that's probably enough wood. We probably can't carry much more. We did grab a, um, a pine seed, so that's good. We can plant that. Maybe a bit closer to base. More ruins. The forage vessel. Bunch of wood, bunch of stones it looks like. Actually not unhappy about that. Yeah, some granite stones. Not too many of them. Just a few. Probably drop them. I'll mark this as well on our map. I'm also keeping my ears out for a, for a beehive. So we can start making uh, honey at some point. <gasps> Copper! Okay, just the one? Just the one bit? That's fine. We'll come back for two bits, okay. We'll come back for more. Later on. Let's mark this. I like how it automatically changes to copper based on the colour that you make it. Okay, what are we up to? 19, okay. That's good, we're almost halfway there just on this excursion. What is this? This is shale sand. Probably don't want to get like super duper far away from home. What the hell is this? Let's check that out. That's that's a weird looking... I think this might be a trader. Copper! <gasps> Dude, I've never found this much copper so quickly. This is incredible. This may be enough to get us by. Where are we at? We're at 19 bits. Let's see what we get after we pick all this up. Keep pressing tab to open my inventory. It's really nice. Okay, 27. We got 8 out of that. That's nice. What is this? Brown coal. Huh. I guess we can mark this as well. I'm not going to pick that up right now because, like, storage space is at a premium back at our base. But I will mark it. Yeah, there's a there's a trader trader wagon here. Hello. Horace. Um. What do you sell? Whoa. I didn't know there was stuff like that in the game. You only buy... Like, fucking crowns and stuff. Alright, well, we're probably not going to be trading, Horace, but thank you anyway. I will mark you on my map for future reference. Um, you can have, you can have purple, since you're such a bougie, a bougie boy. Okay, um. 
probably will start heading back uh, in just a moment. Just curious to see what's like over these uh, these hills. Some plains. Okay, that's good. That means I can see the bear coming from far away. Okay, is this flax? No, this is rye. We should probably take it anyway. Parsnips. I'm grabbing all this. There we go, that's what we want, the seeds. Wow, we're getting lucky with seeds here. And the rye? Just want the seeds, I don't care about picking up the actual rye itself. Although, you know, we may as well drop the... Uh, I'd rather have the rye than the one seed from the pine. We see any orange on the horizon, uh, on the floor. That I mean, then um, we know we've got more copper as well. Okay, I'm gonna go check out what looks like a ruin, and then we're gonna start heading back and hopefully avoid that bear along the way. Oops, I just meant to right-click that, but sure. What is this? More rye, okay. What we're looking for is flax, because we can build a new bag with flax. We we desperately, desperately need flax. Which I totally forgot about until I noticed the rye earlier. Carrots. Um do we have room for carrots? Kind of. I can at least grab the seeds. Don't care about the actual vegetable itself. I just want the seeds for now. Flax, yes, perfect. So we definitely want the seeds. So let's drop these uh, cattails. Yeah. Perfect. All right, we got another ruin <gasps> with an ore vessel and a weird bony soil. Okay, I haven't seen that, I don't think. Okay, cool. Uh, let's mark it. I think I hear footsteps. I'm worried we're not going to be able to carry everything here, but... No copper. It looks like coal, maybe? Um, what do we drop? I guess we can drop the rye. Seven pieces of black coal. Alright, let's start heading back home. Uh, how far are we? We're kind of far. We should be okay though. We should get back before the crazy stuff like this starts to happen. You could have eaten the rye. GHB, welcome back by the way. You're absolutely right. And I will try and... I always forget that you can eat the grains. You can raw dog the grains, essentially. Thank you for the reminder. I think you may have told me that before. Or somebody definitely has told me that before. Uh... We found a whole bunch of copper. GHB on our little trip out today. We found like... 27 pieces. Silver? Hot oh, damn. Okay, well, w let's mark this. Okay, it doesn't automatically... Is there a way, uh, GHB, that we can... We can, um... I've seen somebody do it before, where you can just type in chat like waypoint oh my god there's more copper this is incredible because i feel like doing it in the map is a little bit clunky sometimes 
Okay, we can definitely build a pickaxe, man. There is, but you don't know how. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. As long as we know there is a way to do it, I will try and remember to figure that out for next time. Okay, I don't see any uh, treasure or any loot on the outside here, but there probably is some. How many pieces of... Have we got... Okay, we can make a pickaxe. We can actually start smelting soon. We just need to cook up some, uh, some charcoal. Another ruin. With an ore vessel. Okay, this looks like brown coal. I'll take the brown coal. I think we might have enough to make one linen sack as well. More. Are you kidding me, dude, with the copper? This is incredible. We're going to be loaded forever. Yeah, we're now holding enough copper that we can make a pickaxe. Yeah. 40 pieces. Some pine sap there. Normally I mark all of this stuff on my map, but I'm trying to be less... What the hell is happening, dude? We spawned in copper world. Is this a normal? I feel like copper's normally way harder to find. I think we're just getting really lucky. Any more? Holy cow. Maybe that's like the same copper node and it just kind of grows outwards. Keep hearing noises. It's slash waypoint add and then you do colour and title. Okay. What about for the actual icon? Does it just use a... Let's test it. And red test. Yeah, okay. So it just does a... Uh... Okay, cool. It's old pre-icon. Ah, okay. Hey, T-Rex, I don't know if you've been watching, but we've just found an obscene amount of copper uh, today. We've got 40 pieces on us right now. We found like five nodes and some friggin' blueberries as well, which I would love to take, but cannot, unfortunately. I think, can we drop the drop? Dropping the bowl would be really stupid, wouldn't it? I know they're cheap, but they're also, you know... Okay. No more bears, please. That last bear really, really wanted to kill me. We're still healing from it. He bit my hiney. If you'll excuse my, uh, my French. My hiney was well and truly bit. This is the kind of place I love to burn down. Because look at this. This, this is a nightmare. You don't know what's hiding behind these bushes. Could be a, a Jabberwock. Okay, that's the ruin we found earlier. I think we're past the bear bit. Nope, there's a, there's a bear right there, but he's too far away. We still have the bear at our base to, uh, to deal with. A manger le foufoun? Foufoun? Foufoune? Mange. I know mange means eat. Did I butcher the pronunciation, T Rex? Guess what, T Rex? Uh, Tabernacle. 
Tabernacle, tabernacle, ooh, tab, tabernacle, tabernacle. Another bear, dude. You gotta, you gotta call it with the bear spawns. I feel like our bear slider has been. There's a ruin there that we missed, but that's fine. For Fune and. It's all great so far for fu for fu for Fune for Fun for Fune. Is that what it means? For Fune means like yeah, everything's good. Oh, big ruin, big boy ruin here. I hear uh, I hear like a goat. I think nearby. Let me mark this. How did we miss this? This is right next to our base. Alright, anyway, we're uh, we're home. Welcome back to Mushroom Island. The most beautiful island in the world. Alright, we need to make uh we need to cook up some some charcoal. So that we can start our smelting adventure. Yeah, I wish Frank were here as well. He'd be, uh, you, you guys could be teaching me more. All right, these guys are all dead because of the bear, I think. I hope the bear friggin' drowns. Like before. We should probably loot this. There's no reason to let it go to waste. Speaking of going to waste, we need to check our, um, our cellar because... Need to come back for this. Need to check our cello because we got some food under there that I really don't want to to spoil. All right, where's the bear? Where is the bear? The bear's out there. Let him drown, honestly. Also, the goats are really annoying. Um. Okay. He's drowning. Friggin' idiot. Oh! Did I just see a, a lightning strike in the distance? Okay, the bear did start to drown. My god, dude, he's just, he's a menace. We gotta deal with it. Yeah, follow me. Place is cursed right now. Take me down. Not sure how we can see down here, but we can. Um, 23 days, 21 days, 20... Okay, this is all stored for a long time, so that's good. Um, I'm pretty sure we have meat that needs to be cooked. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're actually fine on the meat. We safe? I think we're safe. Kind of unbelievable how easy it is to lose where the bear is. Okay, yes, we have so much copper. Just put the pine in here for now. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna go plant. I don't mind that he's killing all of these guys.
Let's light some of these torches. Before they go... Uh, before they get extinguished. Okay, drifters are going to start spawning any moment now, I feel like. Are we cool? Are we cool? Uh, can't you lock him up via putting soil blocks where he spawns? Um, no, I don't, I think, I don't know where he spawns. I think it's just random. Unfortunately. These friggin' rabbits trying to get in here to eat my sweet, sweet crops. Alright, what do we have here? We've got rye. We have a designated rye area somewhere. Right here. Okay, these are all N. These all use uh, nitrogen. So let's put the rye down. Next to the, the rest. I'm going to temporarily put this torch in my offhand. As long as we don't fall in the water, we'll be fine. Definitely need to expand the uh, the farm here. Cabbage is also in. Flax is K. Let's go plant the flax because this is like the most important thing. This is all flax, right? Yeah. Okay. Cabbage. Parsnips. Parsnips are P. I think we have some... Alright, these are all... N... P. Okay, onions are also P. I'm trying to keep things roughly using the same nutrients here so that we can fallow things later on. Cabbage is N. Kind of running out of space, but we can just about get some cabbages in over here, it looks like. Carrots are K. Beautiful. Okay. You can put torches on the fireplace too. Yeah, yeah, that's where you cook them up, yeah. I just think, you know, because I, I took these out in a bunch of water earlier and I accidentally um, put them out. Oh my lord, it's a drifter. My god, they're everywhere, dude. My god, they're so accurate as well. Really want to grab all this meat. Where was that dead sheep? Here. Yeah. There's also a boar over here somewhere as well that died. Let's see if we can quickly grab this. Get this stored away. Lovely stuff. Thank you, Mr. Bear. Place is so cursed, dude. Okay, we've got another dead boar there. We'll grab that later. Um. Well, let's go take shelter. Over here. I think we might be safe in here. Kind of. Kind of safe. I really want to make a, uh, a uh, some charcoal. We can't really do it here, unfortunately. I am happy with how the farm is going. My God, look at them! Can you see? Can you guys see that out there? There's so many of them, They're trying to throw stones at me. How does it feel?
Yeah, run away. This place is cursed, man. We're gonna we're gonna have to really fortify this place. I think we use our uh, fat to make those little torches. I think that helps prevent them from spawning. Emphasis on the word thinks. Where's the moon? We still got a while before the the night's over. Let's take these torches out of our offhand because that that eats through your um, food meter a bit quicker, I think. We're going to do a big cook, big cook up. We're going to get our uh, um, charcoal cooking. And then we're going to go out and we're going to grab a whole bunch of cobblestone and we're going to bring it back and we're going to build like a little star home up on the hill. I'm also aware that being here is lowering our um, our sanity meter, or whatever the hell this is called. Don't throw stones at me, dude. You're going to drown. God, look at them, dude. They're going crazy with it. Luckily, they all suck. Alright, I take it back. Love how you can hit me through the wall there. Okay, let's get down here real quick. <laughs> Alright, they're fighting each other. Which is great. Come on over. And do the twist. Ah. Pro strats. Hit him. There we go. I want to throw the spear, but I'm worried it might kill me. Where's the moon? I think that's the moon over there. Okay, we killed one. Need to get rid of this guy. Okay, you can hit me from there. Intr oh, okay. That is really not good. Can you eat them? I don't think you can eat them. You can you can butcher them. You can butcher them because they do drop stuff, but it only takes one more stone to kill us right now. the night would end. Also, we're pretty hungry, huh? Okay, one of our spears just broke. Good thing we had a backup. Oh, we have the bandages. I almost forgot. I'm going to use every single one of them. Totally worth it. How I hate I hate the ranger of these guys. It's okay, he's down. Quickly, that's loot. Nothing. Another one is coming, I see him. There's also a dead one at the bottom of the floor there. He may be drowned. Okay, I'm feeling emboldened. I don't know why, I just am. So um why don't we try and run back? I think they drop uh, they drop the flax stuff that we need to build um, our like a rucksack. I think they also drop like these weird gears. I don't really understand what they're for yet, but right, we gotta get crazy with the dodges right now and not jump into that terrifying storm thing. 
Stop. Okay, we're in our cellar right now. Gotta be careful not to let this stuff spoil. This is our prepared food. Uh, you, you put them in a cellar and it lasts for longer, which is a really cool aspect of this game. Oh yeah, they're right above us. I didn't bring a bowl with me, so I don't think we can actually eat any of this. <laughs> Enjoy the cacophony, chat. We could eat some raw um, vegetables here if we want, but I'd rather cook them up. It's annoying. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna against my better judgment. I'm gonna try and leave. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that right now. Also, what what happened to the bear? We've just kind of forgotten that there's a, a friggin' bear. Kill the rabbit for, for Well, just because. Because I'm I'm scared. Two more red meat there, baby. Hey, Istasev, welcome back. How did Splunky go? Uh, not good. I am very bad. I, I need a lot of practice. I need to get used to using the controller in a platformer game, for sure. I may have to give it a shake with the keyboard. Uh, it did not go very well. I'm not good at... I'm not good at platformers. What is that? What do I see over there? I see something. Hey, if I can get away with it, and we are very close to death. We don't have to go far if we do die, but we are very close to death. Stay away from the, the, the sheep. Um, we could try and build a pit kiln to, uh, to make some charcoal. For now, why don't we just do it right here? We're going to make it very deep. There we go. Okay, the sun is coming up. I can confirm the sun is indeed coming up. Right, let me chop this wood in peace, please. Now we start stacking this. going to take quite a lot of wood but it will absolutely be worth it because we, we have enough copper now to build a, a pickaxe all right are we good are they gone I think they're gone don't know what happened to the bear by the way I see lots of dead boars All right, let's go. Um, let's go store this meat for now, and then we need to cook, cook some food, or rather, just grab some food from from our stockpile before it spoils. Also, I think I left this open. Okay, he's dead. It was really not smart for me to leave this place open. Should be okay though. <sighs> Alright, um, what do we want to eat? Pretty much anything would be good at this point, because we're about to starve, so... 
Whatever has the least shelf life here. 2017, 21. Okay. Let's grab. Are you the 17? No, that one is. Okay. Eat some right now. Grab a bit more for the future. There you go. We're good. Priority today is definitely making the kiln. Good amount of fat stored up. Same with leather. We can start doing leather working in the not too distant future. Right, let's see how many of these we can build. Fuck off. God, I hate this bear, man. He's unbearable. Alright, how do we make the... Uh... And we're nowhere near getting a, a, a linen sack built, are we? Actually, we're, we're close to having one built. We need, like, one more uh, linen thingamajig. Alright, are you cool? Just dump this in here for now. Okay, so we need we need to cook up all the wood we have right now. Not the oak, but anything else. Okay, beautiful. Also, let's drop off this uh, leather. Apparently the bears can climb quite high, so I don't think it's going to fall into this pit. Okay. Just need a few more stacks of wood, so let's go and grab that to start our day. Wouldn't mind grabbing them from over here, to be honest. As long as we can keep the bear out of the way. And not get backstabbed by these sheep. Because they love to do that. Come on. Alright, don't hurt me. Yeah, take out the sheep. No, don't run near me. You see that sneaky sheep trying to, trying to run near me? Are you attacking me now, you gimp? I think he's coming for me. Oh, he totally is. It wasn't me that pissed this guy off, dude. It was the bear. Now I have to pay the iron price. Oh, we just ate as well. What a waste. Friggin' hate the rams, man. I hope they all get murdered by the... by the. I mean, I should have just swam away, but I really wanted some friggin' reprisal against those guys. That's fine. We died right next to base, so it doesn't really matter too much. We're not that far away. <sighs> Just trying to cook up some charcoal. That's all I want. Is this a fruit tree? This is a fruit tree. Incredible. There's a, there's actually a bunch of them here, which is awesome.
I might just stop using the icons and just use the waypoint method. It actually seems a lot more convenient. I don't know why. I can murder them, yeah. But the problem is you attack one, they all start attacking. And they can take you out in like two hits. And I kind of like having them around because I'm, I might want to make a farm in the future. Is that a wolf? I might want to tame them at some point and, um, and make a farm. Although that's so far in the future that, yeah, we probably should just deal with them. The bear's drowning. Haha. <laughs> Why are you coming after me, dude? I didn't do anything. Here's the loser that just killed me. Alright, we good? We're good. You know who's not good, though? This stinker. Can you hit me from down here? You can indeed hit me from down here. Hey, okay, don't throw your spear underwater. You are not Aquaman. I can't believe I made an Aquaman reference. I've never even seen that movie. Alright, there we go. Ram dealt with. Alright, let's cut him up. Nice and fine. Beautiful. Not even going to take your bones. That's how little you mean to me. Okay, I wonder if the bear uh, was, was still drowning. By the way, this is the second bear we've had on this island. Is that the bear? Dude, it's just a trail of corpses. I love it. Look at all the meat we've got. I think the I think that's the bear. I think it I think it died. Idiot. There'll be more, I'm sure. Honestly, I'm not even going to take the bush meat, I don't think. I might come back for it, but it kind of sucks. Apparently I picked up some water. All right. Let's get back to uh, to chopping. Let's go drop off the meat before it spoils, and then we'll get back to chopping trees. Yeah, we got we got so much meat. We actually have almost too much of it, I think. But it should be fine. Yeah, I keep seeing lightning strike out there. Do you guys see that? Okay, let me quickly rearrange my... All of my torches have, of course, been extinguished again. That goes there. That goes there. You go in number three, you go number two, you go number four. This is what I call Minecraft controls. Um, I don't really want to chop down the trees over here. You see, they keep spawning as well. So I could fence these sheep off, but I don't think there's any point. I'm actually starting to wonder if bears are attracted to other animals, and that's what causes them to to spawn, possibly. Okay, let's build another axe real quick. I think we're we're um pretty close to filling up the I think we need five more five stacks of thirty two five stacks of these to fill it up, I believe. Two down, three to go. 
And then we're going to run out and we're going to go grab as much cobblestone as we can get. I want to avoid cutting down oaks if I can. Because they're useful later on. Don't mind deforesting this area. At all. Also, maple, you know, it's kind of a, a, a trash wood. No offense to any maple enjoyers in chat. But let's be real here it's no oak. Come on, there we go. All right, where are we at right now? We're pretty close. We actually may have everything we need. Yep, I think that's all the wood we need. Nothing is oak except for oak. Well, technically, yeah, you're not you're not wrong. And let's be honest, oak is not. We might as well take these mushrooms. Oak isn't redwood or mahogany, you know. Loving all these mushrooms. We can make up a lovely mushroom... Lovely mushroom stew. We'll put these in the cellar so that they spoil slower. And then tomorrow, by the time our charcoal is done, we should be able to cook up our first batch of uh, copper. We just need to make a crucible and an ingot mold. Before we uh, before we do that, go dump all of this over here. we go. You think you're going to start farming mushrooms? Seems like fun. Yeah, I've watched those videos. I've actually, I've grown mushrooms before. Um, legally, I am not going to say what for, but it is really fun. And it's surprisingly easy as well. All right. Need to do that. Let's put these flowers down. And now we just, I think we make a fire on top. Like this. And then let's grab our lit torch. Just quickly relight some of these. What kind of mushrooms do you want to, um, what kind of mushrooms are you looking to grow? Okay, and now we set this campfire alight, I believe. Yeah, charcoal pit, you see. And now we block this off from the air and that will convert in the next 24 hours or so that will convert into uh into charcoal just like real life which is super cool okay let's grab some uh, some fresh food here since we just died got our puffballs down here Yeah. 
Okay, good, good, good. Eat some right now. Grab some more for later. And then we need to make... Um, before I forget, we need to also cook up... Uh, a crucible and some ingot molds as well. See if we have any clay left. Got a little bit. I don't know if this will be enough, but we can try. We only need one crucible. Man, I can barely see that. It's so friggin' bright out here. Profitable not as in having to pay for them, because you assume you need crazy permits to sell them. Yeah, I mean, I don't even think it would be legal to sell them. Or if you're talking about just edible mushrooms. Not any special shrooms, okay. Something you can use in the kitchen, nice. Yeah, no, go for it, dude. I think it'll be really easy. You just need, you know, a damp... You can buy the... Are you planning on buying the, the, the mushroom blocks? Growing them, like, in a block? Or... Or what? out of here Shit. God. boss there we go but right, that's that now we need uh I guess uh we go straight for a pickaxe mold here I think we might run out of clay we may have to go out and grab some more No, we're good, I think. Apparently you can use regular wooden blocks. Oh, okay, yeah, like, uh, yeah. It's like sawdust is really good for growing mushrooms. And just, yeah, you just keep them damp. Put them in a kind of dim area. I can barely see the outlines here. Okay, good. Let's get these cook cooking up. Ready for um ready for tomorrow. So, we just need we need some more wood before we can do that, I think. Grab the grass. Use our sticks. And then finally... Let's, let's put this uh, clay away first. And then finally we just need some... Uh, some peat. There's two pieces there. There's a bunch more peat. This is going well. Are you alive? You are alive. Uh, we had some... We had a peat patch somewhere. Over here, I think. Yes. That should be enough. I think it's four pieces each. Yeah. Beautiful. And then we just light this up. And we should probably, actually, you know what, before we light it, let's cover the tops. Because this is gonna, it's raining here, so this is gonna burn out. If we don't do anything about it. Wait, can we just do it like this? Yeah. Doesn't look great, but that's fine. All right, beautiful stuff. There we go. Just make sure this doesn't spread. That'd be very bad for us. 
All right, let's go grab some... Um... Get the crap out of me, man. Let's go grab some... Uh, some cobblestone. It is indeed levitating. Let's go to our nearest ruin and start ripping it apart, and then come back and start planning a little, uh, little hobbit hole. And then tomorrow, we'll have our first, uh, our first copper pickaxe. We can actually go and start, um, grabbing all the copper we found, and we found a lot. Kind of a shocking amount of copper, actually. Baby rabbit, baby rabbit. Yeah, here we go. This is going to take a while. Is there a carry weight limit? Uh, there's not a weight limit. It's just a... Um, it's just however however much space you have. But things... I think, I think this, for example, stacks into... 16 I want to say some things uh, make stacks of 16 some of them make maybe 32 or 64 I actually can't remember we should also pick up some of these stairs as well is that pig alive or is it dead Okay, no, these stack, these stack in more than... That's not a pig, that's a wolf! Oh! Ah. <sighs> we should start making a graveyard. Every time we die, we have to build a little, um... A little memorial. Oh, there treasures. Yeah, there's tre there's there's buried treasure, and stuff in the ruins. They can. I found some in the past. I actually dropped like copper tools before, so it's actually pretty good kickstart if you can find that. Dude, another fruit tree. What is happening? I'm just gonna start using this now. Uh, waypoint add. Is it color before? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go collect our corpse and try and avoid the uh, the wolf. I really thought that was a pig. I thought it was like a boar or something. All right, are you camp? You are camping my corpse. What a trash bag! Quick! I think we got everything. We did not get everything. There we go, now we got everything. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna try and kill that wolf if it comes for me. Okay, it seems to be staying where it is. Let's get back to looting. I think like um, a stack of these will be good because I think we have 30 back at base. And we could start building like a little kind of simple cabin. To be honest, you woke I did. I did. I can't even I can't even argue that. We totally woke him up. I thought it was a pig. I didn't know it was a wolf. I just thought it was like a little piggy. Even though I think in real life 
Approaching a wild boar would be more dangerous than approaching a wolf. A wolf will kind of be like... If it's just a single wolf, it's not going to fuck with you probably. But a boar, a boar will just attack you because they're very territorial. I think to start, we're just going to build like a kind of square. Just somewhere we can put a campfire in. And maybe build a bed. I completely forgot that there are beds in the game. Okay, we can't build that until we get wood planks. That's fine. We're not far from that. We can definitely build a hay bed, though. Let's us sleep for seven hours. I think I want to do that. Avoiding the night is, is good, I think. Dark Dwayne, so welcome back. Good to see you again. The wolf would be mostly confused. The boar personally insulted. Be exactly. Boars are actually kind of terrifying. They're pretty cute when they're babies. Also, did you know when um when like regular pigs uh, escape and go into the wild, they become feral and they essentially turn into wild boars. It's actually really interesting. The boar is an org. What? What do you mean on org? What does that mean? I'm not down with the hip language. Right, we're almost one more piece and then I'm going to call that good. We're going to get building. Alright, two more pieces. I think that makes a stack and a half back at base now. Oh, an orc. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, a boar is very much an orc. I think if you said to me, if an orc were an animal, what animal would it be? I would probably say a boar. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, charcoal's cooking up nicely, as you can see. Our pickaxe mold and crucible. Okay, um... Right, let's, let's start to, uh, to cook here. Something super simple. I will build it down to the to the floor here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can get a seven by seven interior if we want to use this as the outer wall. That might be okay for now, but why don't we go for a nine by nine interior if we take this out to eleven? There we go. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, perfect. Gotta get rid of these bones, apparently. Then eventually we'll fill this interior with wood, but for now it's just gonna be like dirt. There's typically two vessels in the arena ruin. Okay, awesome. I will keep an eye out. I don't remember if we've looted them already or not. But I will absolutely keep an eye out for those. Have you seen the little piggies? What do you think the Beatles' worst song is? I, I would maybe say Yellow Submarine's pretty terrible. And it sickens me that that's people... When people think of the Beatles, that's like one of the first songs that people think of. And I'm like, you, you absolute gimp. Alright, let's have... Um, we'll have an entryway on this side. 
We're going to need a lot more cobble, that's for sure. We can get this at least too high. We'll, we can be safe. we got a little more cobble in here somewhere. going to need a lot more, though, that's for sure. We'll also have a, a a little entrance like here. Are you building foundation? Kind of. I just want it to be. I want it to look kind of nice eventually. You know. I think we have time to go back out and grab some more cobble. I don't feel too scared about that. I think it just needs to be too high to be safe. And I know we could use dirt, but I kind of want to keep it... Keep it cool, you know? Let's grab another um, axe for the road as well. this down mm -mm. what goblin what would goblins be um a goblin would be like a, a a rat maybe i think rats might be goblins what do you think they would be It's a very atmospheric night out here today. Also, a raccoon, I think, would be a good candidate for uh, for a goblin. My favorite thing about this game, Tavana, is that you build a cellar, and the cellar takes into account, like, is there light down there? Is there a, an open entryway? Um, is it made of stone? It's really interesting. You think rats as well? Yeah, I think rat would be the most goblin-like animal. But here's the thing, rats aren't vicious though, so maybe not, maybe not rats. Rats are actually kind of chill. Um... Wow, oh, this goes deep, huh? Holy cow. Don't want to get stuck down here with a drifter, though. You think raccoons for humies? Yeah, we are pretty chaotic. By the way, is the thunder and lightning too loud? I feel like it's slightly too loud. Apparently I turned music off. We're probably good now, but we may as well get one more stack since we're gonna we're gonna need it at some point anyway. And there's nothing else to do at night really, other than run and hide. So I'm excited to grab some copper and get some uh, some tools made. Riveting, exciting gameplay, I know, but I can hear wolves howling in the distance. Wouldn't we rather be cats? Good point, yeah. Let's grab just a little more. Eight more, and then we're, we've got a full stack.
I think we're really lucky to have this arena ruined so close because it's got so much stone in it, so much cobblestone. Oh no, 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 no. I'm running. Run like the wind, bullseye. I'm stuck. Are we good? I think we're good. That was scary, huh? Look how dark it is out here. Holy cow. Game has great music, huh? All right, have we got enough for one more round? Then, as we go, we will beautify beautify this uh, square little heart and make it even nicer. The music too loud. It seems really loud. Okay, I think we're now kind of safe. Just need to build a door. This summer you saw how they made charcoals. It is like this, yeah. Also, your girlfriend is a ceramicist and she worked with archaeological sites. Oh wow, that's so cool. Yeah, they did. They did a great job uh, in Vintage Story of making stuff like, you know, as realistic as you can get with a with a game like this. Okay, so we need two wood. Don't really want to use the oak, like I said. That's fine. I think we're okay for tonight. We can do that in the morning. How's our um, stuff coming along? Oh, look at that. What a shame. You walked into the fire, you idiot. Give me the meat. We should probably start cooking. We do have a lot of meat that needs to be cooked. Three days until that spoils. We can combine that. In fact, you know what? Combine all of this. Let's cook up some uh, some more meat stew. I think. Eat this first. We need what six in each slot. So we need twenty-four pieces. Wait, no, 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 no. Use this first. Then we should start focusing on making some uh, vegetable stuff as well. I'm just going to make a super simple meat stew here. not going to be enough wood. We're going to have to chop down the tree next to us, I think. We will replant it, sure. Yeah, 
need a new graphics card for your PC. What do you have at the moment? Oh! You're ruining everything. You friggin' stink. Alright, fine, I'll use the friggin' oak. <sighs> we got way too much dirt. We can compact this into um, a special kind of dirt. I might do that. Just for the flooring, for the time being. Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's chop up this oak. There's plenty more oak out there. You know, it's not the end of the world. I think we can make packed dirt. No? Oh, it's six. Okay. We'll use this for the flooring for the time being. Can't wait until we have proper storage. You don't remember its name, but it's pretty bad. I have... Um, I have a 3070. I've only had it for just over a year, but it's... It's decent. It's, it's good enough for most modern games still. If I had the money, I would definitely buy a 40 series card, but then I'd have to upgrade my friggin' my power supply and everything. You can probably- I don't know what the- what, what is the current going price for a 3070 now? I got the Founders Edition, because I think it looks incredible. It was definitely used at, for mining at some point, but uh, it works perfectly and it's pretty much good as new, so... I got it right after the um, the crackdown on Bitcoin mining, when all of the uh, the graphics card prices fell, like just over a year ago, after being like obscenely high for God knows how long. I'm gonna let one more piece of wood go here, and then I think we actually might be good. You got a GTX 1660 Super. You know, those are still... Yeah, those are still... Um, I think that's still fine for a lot of stuff, though, right? Before that, I had an AMD... Uh, an RX... 280, I want to say. Had that for a while, but it, it needed to be updated. Couldn't do streaming if I didn't get that. Okay, now we can kind of designate a little area, a little corner of this to be the cooking corner. And we can build some actual friggin' doors as well. Alright, so let's grab this stuff. As soon as it's ready. There we go. Fill up one crock pot. Make sure we put this in the cellar. And then put two more portions. Yeah, two more portions in here. Beautiful. The music's so loud, man. Holy shit. No more music. I think it's actually more atmospheric without the music. The music's good, though. Don't get me wrong. Put this back in our cellar. Hey, we have a good stock. This is all red meat stew. There's a little bit of... You know what? We should probably grab some of this vegetable stuff if we can empty this bowl. 
No. A little bit of a serving left. Okay, I'm assuming the sun just came up. Or is about to. Gonna build a proper cellar soon as well. Right, let's rearrange our um, interior. And then we should be good to cook up some... Um, some copper. Mm -mm -mm. You're playing Roots of Packer. I've heard of that and Eve. What Eve as in Eve Online? It's pretty expensive for a Turkish student like you. Exchange rate has been crazy for a couple of years. Oh, you're from Turkey. Awesome. I don't know of any other uh, Turkish people that have been in chat, but always cool to have people from all, all different kinds of places. Games got... Ex yeah, games are super expensive. Regardless of where you are in the world. That's definitely true. Right, let's grab all of this garbage. Let's just put you, like, over here for now. Similarly with the uh, cooked pot here. Let's put that there. Destroy our fire. That's fine. Make a new one. We'll have this as the cooking corner. And we'll maybe do smelting over here or something. Okay, I think we're safe now. What a beautiful house. Um, well, step one. Let's just chuck out this dirt one moment. And let's stack up some of this firewood. Maybe here for now. We have a silver nugget. Where did we pick that up? Anyway, let's start moving stuff, which means we do have to loot everything here and move it manually. These are only temporary. Let's put this in here and the hoe. You applied to a TTRPG company last week. Oh, that would be cool. You play a lot of, like, tabletop stuff. I mean, you must do. Put that in there. Also, we'll keep, we'll keep dirt in this chest for now. This is kind of our, um, our chest of earthly delights. We still need this, actually. Okay. I can't wait. Once I've once I've got things organized in a game, I know that I'm like, you know, I'm doing well. Until things are organized, I, I just like cringe. We'll keep fat in here, as well as the um, the pelts. Since this is all kind of natural, this is all animal product in here. We'll keep the uh, the cordage and the grass in here. All right, we're almost done. And for now, this can just be our. Uh, rock and ore kind of stuff. Which 
which means this should also go in in here the linen and the seeds for now I'll put in here okay there we go floor's done all right so um let's quickly build a little cooking fire as well just for the future just need one of these and some wood we can just kind of get that okay get that ready and then we can move some of our cooking stuff over next to it ready for later Here we go we got plenty of room we need to make some doors today Roofs are a headache. Yeah, can I can I quickly show you my um my single player world? I haven't touched it in um probably six to seven months, but look. Fifty hours. And most of that time has been building. I have barely explored the game. But I just want to show you the the, the little place I built. I've also started to build a windmill here. This is the interior. This is my uh, my little crappy little cellar. I got some uh, some cranberry juice cooking up. Probably won't come back to this world. It's been too long since I played it, and I'm I'm a bit like confused. But you see, I have these high windows on each side. Oh yeah, also it's winter. This is all, uh, I really love the roof. I mean, you can't see it because it's snowed up, but this is all grass. Kind of, I kind of built it into the, uh, this game is incredibly cool. Like all of this stuff, you can chisel out blocks and make it look however you want. Like I've done for all of my worktops. I've chiseled out like the bottom and the, the kind of edges to make it look a bit more fancy. Also got some tin cooking up. Loads of tin cooking up, in fact. Holy cow. You can see smelting takes up a lot of room, but we've also got a little coal pit. Got some leather going, apparently. Got an oven for making bread. Actually doing pretty well. This is my first real run. The problem is, this is play this is um also beehives. This is the mode where there's no enemies in the game. But also I've enabled uh, block gravity, which means that I quite often get like cave-ins and things. And it's kind of annoying. Oh yeah, also you can build a windmill to like grind up stuff in a kern. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, there's pies as well. Awesome. Anyway, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing so far. But it's been so long since I played this. I think I also have chickens, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Great game, though. Anyway. Back to, uh, back to the current run. I don't know what to have for dinner after stream today. Tempted to treat myself to a takeaway. Uh, what just happened? Okay, okay. Now we can go. Let's go eat some, uh, get some of that vegetable stew. Ready to go. Since we need some veggies in our diet. Fill that up. That should be good for now. Right, this is still cooking. Let's see how our uh, charcoal pit's coming along. It's also still cooking. Well, we should probably do something and not waste the day here, so... 
We could maybe go grab some wood. I feel like we're going to need a lot of wood going forward. What was that? Okay. Yeah, we'll go grab wood because we're going to need a lot of it once we unlock the uh, saw. We can start making wood planks. Um, not sure how the maple wood looks when it's been sawed. I do know that I like pine. It's got like a kind of pinkish hue to it, I think. Nope, 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 nope. I need to build an extra spear. I can actually take that wolf out, no problem. I just need an additional... Let's grab a... Let's craft one now. But like two is probably good. Let's deal with this wolf once and for all. Hey! Octoreed! Good to have you back. How have you been? Good to see you again. Are there baby animals? There are indeed baby animals. The 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 bear killed most of them on my island. It looks like Terra Firma Craft. Yes, I think that was the inspiration for this mod, but this mod is like so much more than terra firma craft this is like there you go there's a baby there's a little lamb there there's a little baby sheep oi jump give him the old jukes he's still alive are you kidding me oh bye bye friggin garbage dog Hopefully it's just you here and nobody else. But thank you for the fat. I'm going to leave you to rot because that's what you deserve. Alright, let's clear out some of these trees. Yeah, exactly. It's terra firma craft push to the, to the extreme. Okay. Would love to find a beehive soon as well. We definitely need... You know what we should really be doing today? Is looking for more seeds. You can't have too many seeds. In fact, that's what we... We're going to cut this tree down. We're going to go find some seeds. Put anything that we don't need in our inventory away for now. We need flax. Like, desperately, desperately. We should maybe head in a different direction. Why don't we... What the hell is that? Let's head north. Let's investigate what the hell that is. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Lots of horsetail here, so we can make bandages, which is nice. Also, we need to grab more... I like this game because there's so much to do. We need to grab more uh, medium fertility soil. Is this lamb going to run off a cliff? Oh, they're all drowning. We found this would actually be the perfect place to build a base. All those foxes are drowning. Don't look. Is there ages? As in like... Uh, Stone Age, yes, very much. We are about to enter the Copper Age. We are currently in the Stone Age. We are currently cooking up our first batch of charcoal. There's a baby wolf there, by the way. And then we can actually smelt the copper we found, which will allow us to go and grab more copper so that we can build copper tools and we can unlock a whole bunch of the game. Because there's no, like, you can't build a stone pickaxe in, th in this game. You need, um, you need copper to do that, so... That's the first, like, big milestone. But it takes, like, a good few hours to get here. Ooh, some chanterelles. That's a fancy mushroom. You know it's fancy because it's got a French name. 
Um, no, you can you can actually take it into what I would call maybe a. Um... Well, no, it is still medieval. You can build like windmills and things. But there's some weird items in this game. There's like a night vision helmet. I don't really know how that fits in. It's maybe steampunk, but for the most part, I think it's like medieval. It go. I would argue it goes up to like medieval kind of age. Okay, here's that weird thing that we see on the map. What the hell is this, dude? Where am I? There's some great trees to chop here, though. What the hell is this? Is it snow? I think it's snow on top of this floating... I think that might be what that is. Oh, there's another trader here. Yeah, there's a trader caravan there. This pine forest is great for, for wood. We can come back here for sure if we need some. <gasps> Copper! Bing bong! Alright, this is what you're looking out for. Um, You're looking for little... Little copper nodes like this. You can pick these up. These are these become copper bits. You need 20 copper bits to make one copper bar. So finding 10 already is actually really great. And then underneath here, wherever you find surface copper, it means that below the ground, once you hit the stone layer, there will be a, a vein of copper there somewhere. This is a lot of copper. That's almost enough for one, one more bar. We've, we've gotten really lucky with finding copper on this map. In my other world, it took me forever to find... I think there's a bear here. Yep, that's a freaking bear. Run! Okay, it isn't chasing me. Holy cow, look at these ruins. Uh, sorry, look at this uh, cave. There's a baby rabbit, that's so cute. You can hear it, like, snuffling. Is that a word? Snuffling? Okay. Can't believe the copper. Um. Don't really care about the trader. I will mark it anyway. I like to go purple for trader. Okay. So I'm looking I'm looking for flax. I'm looking for um like wheat. It looks like wheat that grows out of the ground. If I see it I will show you. It's easy to spot up close, but from a distance it's kinda hard. Yeah, we need so much flax, but the fact we we don't have any linen bags yet is making me really sad. We have like no carrying space. There's a mod for that. Oh, there's a magic mod, really. You know what I keep getting urges to play? Is Factorio. Factorio is a game that I've kind of admired from a distance. And I've played I've played a little bit of it, but I've never really taken it far enough because I get I get so like obsessive over how everything looks and is functioning and having to keep tearing everything down and rebuilding it but i really want to maybe give it a go on stream because i feel like i would stick with it a lot more i haven't seen any flax dude what the hell i know it's out here somewhere wait that looks like that might be something over here i think it's just flowers actually Lots of medium fertility soil here, which is good. There's something there. Something growing over here. Vintage is already so much like Minecraft and sorts. There's a mod for almost anything. Yeah, I keep hearing about all of the amazing mods. Okay, this is growing flax. And we have one mature flax, which is perfect. I'm going to break all of these for their seeds. The seeds are really valuable right now. 
If we can plant this today as well, that would be great. In fact, I might start picking up some medium fertility soil now. Well, we don't have much room, though, is the problem. We can come back for it. I think there's actually a patch closer to our base anyway. What's this? This is rye. I honestly don't give a shit about rye right now. I've already got quite a lot of it growing. Oh, there's also help balls. Spelt. Oh no, that's so sad. My poor lamb. It's over. It's over for the little lamb. Okay. Do we see anything here? We do not. There is a ruin here, though. Let's mark this. In case we need to come back here. wonder if there's a, uh, a vessel here that we can use. Not that I see. We'll grab a handful of berries. Lots of oak here. Should we? I think we should mark oak on our map because it becomes pretty useful later on. And we'll mark this with like a nice... Nice kind of brown colour. Yeah, I don't really want to go into caves because I'm scared. I hear bees. Do you hear that? Boom. Okay, that's great. Okay, that's good. We can we can build a skep for that and come back and try and tame them. This is a nice area. Definitely need to keep my eyes peeled for flax. Don't get distracted. More medium soil. Not seeing any. Whoa, nearly fell down there. Hey, we got peat here. We actually haven't found much peat. Surprisingly. So let's mark this. And some clay. Clay we've found hardly any of. So this is actually great. This is our first blue clay. Okay, where the hell are we? So it looks like there's like something... This all elevation, yeah, okay. Like a giant hill over here. With more clay. Still don't see any crops growing though. What do I do for a living? Um, just office stuff. I also do some, uh, some drum, some, teach some drums as well. Back. My back is not good, guys.
I'm well, I'm so I'm 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 basically trying to make a little bit of extra money on uh I mean I don't make much money on Twitch. I don't run ads on my channel. Um just cuz I don't like them personally. But uh YouTube is going really well, so maybe once we hit like a thousand subs on there might be able to get a little bit of money from it. Bing bang. And if things keep going the way they are, we should we should maybe make hit a thousand subs by like the end of January or February, early February. Fingers crossed. Also, thank you for the uh got some some red I shouldn't be drinking Red Bull at 9 p.m., but Mmm, hydration. <laughs> um, hey, this is kind of a cool place. It would have been nice to build a base up here. In fact, I'm kind of sad that we didn't. But there isn't anything really stopping us. Ah, oh, there's some treasure. What is this? This is a tool vessel. Freaking love tool, dude. Lateralis is one of my favorite albums of all time. What do we got? We got a bunch of flint shovels. Uh, which is actually good, because I do want to grab some medium fertility. Yeah, I kind of wish we made our base up here. Is it too late to move now? I think it's, uh... Too late now, isn't it? It's perfect time to move. If we move... Never too late. You are before the Bronze and Copper Age. Okay, that's good. I would love to live on top of a big hill. I'm gonna. We're gonna get our stuff cooked. If I move up here, you know my um. You know my uh, my farm. Will it stay growing even if I'm away from the base, or do I have to be within a certain distance? Because the problem is, we have all of our flax growing, back at the base. You're saving all your channel points for Become a Rat for five minutes. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Okay. I can't see anything, but here we freaking go, boys. Let's freaking go. I need to I need to work on a rat voice. I don't really know what a rat would sound like. I reckon a cat a, a cat? I reckon a rat would have a cockney accent. So I might talk a little bit like this. Yeah. You know what I'm envisioning? You know in um Lord of the Rings where they're fighting over the uruk and, and fighting with the, the goblins, and they're like, they're deciding on who gets to eat the uh, the hobbits. Or the goblin, they want to eat the, the hobbits, but the uruk are like, no, we can't eat these guys. They're like, why can't we have some? That's kind of how I envision a rat sounding. This is definitely going to be our base location. Look at this place. I mean, I'm a bit worried. This looks like ice. Yeah, are we are we too high? Is the elevation here too high? Almost all the time in terms of rain. Mm, I don't know about that. That's a bit of a deal breaker. Yeah, Frank's not here. He's missing out on rat time. But you know what? Frank is always here in spirit. Okay, let's put some uh, some clay markers down here. Clay, 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 my lord. Um, rat time all the time. Hell yeah. It. I mean, I I can't. I really can't see much, but that's fine. I think this might be too high to build a base, but we could maybe build it a bit lower down. Everything's frozen. This is cool though, right? This is a cool area. 
There are no crops up here though, which is a bit concerning. What the hell is this? Holy cow. Jeez. I'm very scared. I don't want to get near the edge because blocks do have gravity in this game. Now that is a drop. On your way to keep 200k points to make a full rat live. Oh, I'll do it. Don't even doubt it for a second. This place is freaking cool. You know, I, I love games where you can just kind of go out and explore, and it's fun, and it's kind of interesting. There aren't many games like that, where like, a lot of games you just kind of see the same thing over and over again. It looks like a really, yeah, another really deep pit here as well. Okay, I think we're too high in elevation. Uh, to find any crops here. Let's start heading back down this giant hill. I want to see what the map looked like. The The map generation in this game is friggin insane. Looks like there's a trader here as well. But if we made our base like, I don't know, around here. That might be a good idea. Because if we build our base on an island, it means we always have to leave. Like, we always have to go over the water and we can only leave in one direction. You know? Plus, it, I feel like we m might have less bears over here. I don't know why, but maybe. I think I just heard a wolf, but I can't be sure. That's why you're amazed how you can focus on building a base. I don't know. I just feel like... I don't like... I like having, like, a place where all of my stuff is, you know? I can't do nomadic, especially whilst we don't have much carry capacity. Until we build, like, a leather backpack, I feel like we're going to be struggling for a little bit. Like, this here would be the perfect... Look at this. This is perfectly flat. Don't you think this would be a great base location? I mean, there's not much going on here, granted, but like if we built like a house right here, we got all of these hills that we can use for um, for growing crops at some point. This is kind of a perfect spot, no? Like the first location in Valheim. Exactly. Another friggin' I'm gonna I'm gonna mark this here. I'm gonna say potential base. Alright, let's get back. We didn't find the crops that we wanted. Yeah, do, okay, so um does anybody know if we did move here, our our seeds they would stop growing, right? Back at our base, could we be too far away? Or is there a way, or do we just kind of hold out until they finish growing? Because flax is kind of everything right now. We're still a long way from winter though, so I guess it's not really, like, super important. And honestly, I think I can, I can gather enough meat in this game to just survive off meat until we can make, um, until we can make, like, pies and stuff. And let's be honest, if we play this once a week, we're not going to see winter until, like, the end of next year. So. Okay. Uh, still no flax. Sag. Oh, what do we have over here? 
This looks like it could be flax. Bing bong. I think I'm going to save seeds then. If we if we can't grow them back at our base, we can save them for Bing bong. the new base location. Bing bong. Freaking love that video. If you haven't seen that video, you should go and watch it. More flax? Oh. This is a good omen, chat. Yeah, let me... Right, so type type 1 if you think we should um, plant all of our flax right now and let it grow. Type 2 if you think we bring it all back and plant it around the new base location. Because I don't know, I'm kind of clueless. Bonk. What do we have here? Carrots. Don't care about the carrots, honestly. Any more flax along these parts? Not that I can see. You say two. You say we bring it back to our new location. Okay. I mean, it seems like a waste because we have planted a lot of flax. But I think it might still grow. As long as we don't get too far away. Not flax. I'm not interested. I think we can actually make our very first linen bag, by the way. Yeah, we do have enough for our first linen bag. Definitely wore that for more than five minutes. You see how how framey the uh, the camera gets when we pause in this game. Really bizarre. And then look, as soon as we unpause, back to normal. Weird. Okay, um... I am a flax boy. Ba -ba -bum -bum. What do we need to build a watering can again? No. A bucket. Okay, so we need the saw. That's fine. Okay, well the people have spoken. We will uh, we will move to our new location. Oh. That first shot was close. Trying to show off there, it didn't quite work. <laughs> Drop shot. Oh, dude. You know what? It's not very Bushido to kill a rabbit whilst he's in a hole. I'm going to leave him. Okay. Mushroom. Is this Mushroom Island? This is Mushroom Island, yes. This is not... Wait, no, that's not Mushroom. There's too many trees for that to be Mushroom Island. No, that's fake. That's fake Mushroom Island. What's the giant island um, off the coast of Canada called, by the way? It looks a bit like that. On the map. I think it's called Hoser Island. Um... All right, let's just friggin' swim. Wait, what? I don't make stairs, giant anti-costi. What? <laughs> what? What does that mean? Anti-costi. Anti-costi. Watch me make this jump. 
Shit. There's a dead rabbit here. What happened to you? Eaten by another creature. Okay, well... That almost definitely means that... Oh my god. You scared the crap out of me, dude. You <laughs> scared the actual crap out of me. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Alex Kitsune, good to see you again. Welcome back. That's the name of the island on the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Oh, okay. How did I not take full... I don't think we actually fell that far. No, that's not the island I'm thinking. I'm thinking of... Um, it's like the biggest island off the coast of Canada. Hold on. Big Canadian island. Baffin Island. There we go. That was the one I was thinking of. B -b -b Baffin. B -b -b Baffin Island. I don't know why it reminded me of Baffin Island. I haven't heard of this before. Thought it was a Minecraft mod pack. No, no. This is this is like Minecraft, but on steroids, with insane survival. Speaking of survival, we're about to enter the Copper Age. We will we will do the Copper Age right now, and then we can um we can move our base over to our new Luca. Moving our base over is going to take quite a while, but it. Totally be worth it, I think. Look at all of this friggin' juicy copper that we've got, man. Okay, more seeds. Stuff to put downstairs. Let's build our, um... Let's build our bag right now. Since we're, we're so close. We actually have enough for one bag, which is insane. Finally. Bag. Pick that up, please. Um, hello? Oh, I know why this is. It's because there's stuff in it. Still has crap in it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't live here. Boom. Rip this piece of garbage apart. Ah. Yeah, maybe living here is um is not such a good idea. Oof, that scared the crap out of me, dude. Okay, it looks like our stuff is maybe done. Ready to uh to move. Let's store our food. We'll have to move this, obviously, at some point as well, which is going to be a nightmare. I don't think this stuff will keep. But hopefully it will. Okay, we've got drifters spawning in. Charcoal's done. Oh my god, they're everywhere. God, I the night in this game friggin' sucks, dude. We should have built a bed. I don't know why we haven't built a bed yet. Now we have to basically stand here for the next, like, ten minutes.
Are they throwing rocks at me? I wonder if a lightning strike can set things on fire. Be a bad way of losing your house. Come on, let me get my friggin... Let me get my charcoal, goddammit. There's so many of them, dude. And they're also friggin' using aimbot. They never miss. Because there's a portal right next to our house. Tavana, we found a we found a new location to build our house. Also, our charcoal's ready, but we can't grab it because we're being assaulted by drifters. Um. Our torch burnt out, that's sad. Let's go grab this other torch before this one goes as well. The, we have a pretty established farm here. Um, but it's fine. We can come back for it. You swear you keep hearing the Don't Starve. That's a game I actually never played. I never played Don't Starve or Don't Starve together. We can grab some grass. We might be able to make a bed and get rid of this cursed invasion. Frick you, dude. Put the torch away. No survivors. How does it feel? Ow. Did I close my gate? I didn't close my gate. Oh my god, a portal opened right on top of me. Oh, this is bad, baby. This is bad. Get in the hole. Don't know what the hell's going on with the lightning strikes in this area. This is crazy. Turnips are almost done. Nice try. No, come on. Come up here. BS. Get wrecked. You got nothing. Okay, yet again, we are very close to death here. Uh, not sure what time of night it is. So we can look at... Uh, it's, it's only just past midnight. Jesus. Not sure when the sun comes up exactly. Let's get back to our base, if we can. Did we pick that up? We did, okay, good. Uh, no more hits. No, 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 no. No more hits, thank you. I sealed up the doorway on this side. No, 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 no thanks. Bye. Okay, we're good. Um, How do we build a hay bale? We might have enough for a bed here, actually. Yeah, I think we do. Let me check what the bed recipe is. We can only build the hay bed for now. Okay. Perfect. Shit, my maths was way off. <laughs> it takes two for... Okay. Now it makes sense. 
Thank you for my grass back, though. What? How? Bing bang! Stop this. How did he spawn in here, dude? That's BS. Also, I can't hit my... Bing bong. <laughs> well, that did not go well. All right, we've got the pity light on. At least we died in our base. Can't wait to move out of this place. It stinks. Nearly fell down that hole. Hmm. As far as I know, they spawn on grass patches. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's no grass in our base, though. It's all packed dirt. But I think they can just spawn anywhere unless there's, like, maybe a light source on it. But I, what I don't like, though, is how close it spawned to me. There should be a buffer zone, you know? But one to spawn behind me, that's kind of cheap. Okay, the sun seems to be coming up, so that's good news. I think we, we build our copper stuff, we get right back out there, we try and find more flax, and we b start building in our new location. I'm just going to leave all of the cobblestone that we've used on the house. I was considering tearing it down and moving it, but I think it's just... We can just leave this, it's fine. Any gimps? Alright, no gimps. That's good. seeds in there for now. Okay, it's almost safe, I think, to go out. Luckily, it doesn't ever really seem to rain here. Which is nice. Oh! Dark Dwayne, I see what you're saying. This is obviously a grass patch. Okay, that, that, that would make sense. All right, I'm going. I'm going to grab my copper, and if I have to fight, we'll fight. Of course, there's a portal right there. No survivors, motherfucker. How does it feel, huh? Empty. Empty. Black's fiber, perfect. All right, let me grab this crap and get the hell out of here.
beautiful charcoal. We're going to kickstart our um, smelting operation here, and then we're going to leave. Yeah, the, the, the noise it makes when you get hit is incredible. You can pick the instrument at the start of the game. I can't remember what I picked. I think I didn't even pick it. I think I just went for absolute default. Oh, this is going to be so good. Boom. Alright, let's go and make our first friggin' copper, guys. Can't believe it, it's finally happening. Okay, so... Oh, one thing we have to do first, we need to grab... the pickaxe mold. I hate, I hate that you can't grab stuff if you've got stuff in your hand, that's really frustrating. But I think it kind of makes sense at the same time. Right, let's pop this uh, crucible in here. Take take that away. Now we need... Let's put our uh, pickaxe mold on the floor. And we only need 20 of these to make one ingot. And I don't want to make any more just yet because we actually don't have anywhere to pour them because I didn't make a, an ingot mold because I'm dumb. Um, but that's fine. Not sure how many coal this will take. Would be good to find out though. Oh, I need to make the wooden tongs as well, don't I? So I can actually pick this up. Yep, yeah, we need rope. Uh, okay. We need six flax. Or six... Okay, perfect. Incredible. So this has to reach... Copper has a really high melting point in real life. Yeah, a thousand degrees. That's right. Yeah, I remember. I I remember watching Don't Starve. It does have a very similar sound effect, doesn't it? Okay, clearly, we need more than just one. Got to get that all the way up to a thousand degrees for that to start cooking. I like how you can see it change color as well. That's really cool. Back up some uh, some charcoal here. Messy as hell. Okay, it has officially uh, reached melting point here. Let's keep an eye on this. Let's see if there's enough residual heat for this to cook with just two pieces of charcoal. I don't think there will be. So it's now fallen below its melting point, but it does still have residual heat. So actually, I think I think we're fine. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, and when it's done, you grab it. Boom. You let this cool down. By God, we're ready to go. Okay. So, um, let's, uh, let's start moving over to our new base, I suppose.
Anything we want to take with us. I mean, food. We need to eat, like, right now. But I think I want to focus on grabbing, um... Grabbing something to build with. How are we doing here? We're fine. Also, how's our meat looking? Needs to be cooked up soon. Alright, well, uh... Let's friggin' go, shall we? We can rip apart a couple of, um... How far do we have to go? I mean, it's pretty... Fairly far. There's a ruin here, along the way. We'll rip that down for some, um, some building material. going to be a slow process moving but uh, it will definitely be worth it in the long run also uh, keep this pinned we can always be heading in roughly the right direction So after we built the pickaxe, what's the next best thing to build? It would probably be save for a for an anvil, right? I know the saw is really important. Do we need an anvil to make the Yeah, I think we do. We need an anvil to make the saw. So we need to build an anvil as soon as possible. Definitely should have taken our boat. We do have a boat, but it's slow as hell. Okay. We are here. The ruin is kind of over here. Yeah, we'll take a detour past the ruin. Always be grabbing sticks. Keep our eyes peeled for any bears. Oh my god, my back really hurts. Why? My back, I've noticed, whenever I play Vintage Story, I'm always more aware of how much my back hurts. Maybe I hunch more? Can you make bows? Yeah, you can. In fact, it's really cool for making a bow, because you have to make, like, the bow staff. Um, and then... Like, this one is simple, but if you want to make a, a decent bow, like a long bow... You have to make the bow stuff, and you have to let it dry, like air dry. You also need leather to make it, which is... Is you can make a version with a pelt as well. To do that, we need the saw. Hey, Lokratran, how you doing? Posture check, thank you. Good to have you back, Lokratran. How have you been? La 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 Lokratran. You know what your name reminds me of? It sounds like um like a really powerful painkiller or something. You're like, oh doctor, I've fractured my leg. Here, take fifty milligrams of Lokratran. You'll be absolutely fine.
Oh, this is the the pit that had the baby, the baby, the lamb, you might call it. I was going to say baby sheep. Doing fine. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Ooh, turnips. Uh, yeah, let's, okay, so let's grab some of this crap before we, uh, we go. Damn, I found out your secret drugs. You're about to make millions with it. You still can. You just have to cut me in. You know what? I'll be generous. You can just give me... You can give me 30%. There you go. This is going to take forever, guys. We found a vessel. Flax. Sweet, sweet flax. Oh, this is so good. We can almost make another linen bag now. Sounds reasonable. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I look forward to my uh, 30%. Would it be quicker to use our pickaxe to break this stuff? I think it might. Yeah, I kind of I kind of think we we might want to go get our pickaxe, come back, rip rip our old base apart with our pickaxe. Since we already have enough copper to make multiple pickaxes, and it's not going to use our whole pickaxe anyway, just to tear apart some uh, some stones, you know? I just really want to have a structure in our new, uh, at our new base location. Yeah, let's do that, because that's going to get us, like, a couple stacks of stone, and that's more than enough. I hate to, to backtrack like that, but I think it I think it's worth it in the long run. Also, we can make a second linen sack once we go back. I'm spitting bars here, guys. After Seth's video about Quasimorph, you assume more people... Um, yeah, although the weird thing is, before that video came out, we already were hitting pretty big numbers for me on Quasimorph. Quasimorph is by far my most popular videos. Um, I think my first Quasimorph video, which came out like, I don't know, a month ago, it, it's, I think it's at like two and a half thousand views or something. But yeah, after, it was really funny. I watched the Seth video live and then... Maybe an hour after that video came out, I had a comment on one of my Quasimorph videos. And you know, you already know what it says. I don't even have to say it. You know what it said, right? What the hell is Quasimorph? Quasimorph is a really great game that I've been playing a lot of, especially on YouTube. Um, hey, hey, people, exactly. Yeah. Um, I... It's kind of like an extraction-based uh, roguelike. It's turn-based, where you kind of go into a... It's a sci-fi thing. It's set in space. And um, you have to go in to do these missions, and you have an objective. And if you take too long, these aliens called Quasimorphs start to spawn. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really great game. The final episode of my second season of Quasimorph comes out tonight. I have to limit myself though, I can't play too much of it because it's going to spoil it otherwise. Yeah, it's like, if you know what Zero Siva is, Alex, it's a bit like that, but sci-fi. Or more sci-fi. 
Yeah, this is an evil location that we're in. Right, I, I hate to do this, but we're going to go back. We're going to grab our pickaxe. We're going to tear down our old base. We're going to come back all within a day. And we're going to have more than enough time to start building a, a little outline of our base. And then once we have a saw, we can build a bucket. We need saw to build wood planks. And then we use the wood planks to build a bucket, which means we can move a farm anywhere we want. I will come back for these turnips at some point. Well, this is cool as well. Look at this. Little lagoon. Yeah, I have some. If you if you check out, if you go on my YouTube channel, there's plenty of Quasimorph videos if you want to see what it's about. It's a fun little game for sure. I think it definitely has a lot of potential. Can we jump? Okay, we can just about jump. You are a future millionaire. So you should get used to telling people what to do. Because there's going to be plenty of that in your future. You're going to say, Deirdre, get me Mr. Yamamoto on the line. I want to close the deal with 350. And she'll be like... No, I'm not your secretary. Because that would be very sexist to assume that just because I have a female name that I would be the secretary. I'm actually your boss. And by the way, you're fired. Because that was a bad deal. Mr. Yamamoto is being investigated by the IRS. You should know this. He'll say, okay, Deirdre, I'll pack my things. And then, Locratran, then you'll start your own business. And then you'll become a millionaire. I'll take you on my wing at Rograt Industries. You can be my, uh, you can be my head of operations. Okay, look, it didn't take long to get us back. You should go with your gut and not trust Mr. Yamamoto. But with a name like, with a name like Yamamoto, I mean, it's, it's just such a cool businessman kind of name, you know? You're so naive. You and me both, brother. I invested two billion in Yamamoto. Look what happened. Alright. I think first things first, let's build our friggin thingamajig. Thingamajiggy thing. Linen sack. That's the thing I'm trying to think of. Boom. The boys are back in town. Okay, that's empty. Perfect. Oh, look at the inventory space. It's poggin. It's pogging big time. It's pogging big, big, big pogs. My pogs, my pogs. All right. The pickaxe is ready for crafting. Can't believe it. We finally, we finally did it. All right, let's tear this uh, shit hole down. Oh, it's way quicker, dude. Are you kidding me? Durability doesn't matter. We got plenty more copper already before we even mined out anymore. Oh my god, they put Minecraft in in the game. Then you get caught for embezzlement. I will never get caught for my embezzlement. Trust me. You ever heard of... Dogecoin? I uh, I embezzle all my funds through Dogecoin. I actually do have Dogecoin. I bought it a long time ago when it was good value. And it still is good value even though it's the price has tanked completely. It's the only um, crypto that I own is Dogecoin. That should tell you something about the kind of person I am. Are you alive? Yes. I bought some Dogecoin. Do 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 do. Oh, and he's a nice little hammer. Yeah, exactly. 
Do we need to build the anvil? We just need ingots. We need a chisel first. Wait, what? No, what? How do we anvil? Oh, we build an anvil. Um, there's a there's a thing, isn't there? There's a clay anvil mold. Now it's coming back to me. You just watched Donnie Darko. You're dumb. You didn't understand the movie very well. Unfollow. How dare you? I've actually never seen Donnie Darko. There's actually... You would be shocked by how few movies I've seen. I'm not a movie person. I, I've never really been able to concentrate during movies. Although I can watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Extended cut back to back. But anything else, I'm just like... I'm done, man. I wasn't paying attention at the beginning and now I'm clueless. Alright, we're almost done here. Um, just for the record, what else should we take with us over to our base? We should probably bring, like, some coal, right? We'll bring coal, we'll bring, uh, what wood that we have here. And the seeds I'll come back for because we can't plant them just yet anyway. Take the rest of this cobble. I guess we should take food, but I kind of don't want it to spoil until we built a, gra uh, a storage area for it, so... I would love to swim back, but it, the problem is it's even more tedious than walking there manually. Wish this bear corpse would leak, go away. When you heard about it, you thought it was a mafia movie. It does sound like it could be. Donny, Don, like Donny Brasco. Like Donny is one of the most mafia names, mafioso names out there. Other than the only more mafia name than I can th that I can think of is Sal, S A L. I guarantee you, there's been nobody in the world born with the name Sal who didn't end up in the mafia. It's like a guarantee. You'd be like, but Mom, I wanted to become an astronaut. No, Sal, we called you Sal for a reason. Now get out there, start breaking legs. Salmon, exactly. Sal is famously short for salmon. I'm a little salmon boy, salmon boy, salmon boy. I'm a little salmon boy. Watch me swim upstream. I'm going to release that. as I'm going to convince my bandmates to, um, to put that on a... On our next EP. Alright, we're almost back at the new base. So don't even worry about it. I know all of you were fretting. Biting your nails in anticipation. You'd turn criminal if your parents called you Salmon. Or... You could become the best damn fisherman there is. Because who knows a salmon better than a salmon itself? Think about it. I'm a little... We were talking about Into the Breach earlier. Now I really want to play Into the Breach. But just not tonight because I don't have time. I said I'd play it on Wednesday actually. So never mind. We'll play it on Wednesday. Awesome. There was also another game. I, what, what else did I say I'd play on Wednesday? Hogmind. Hogmind and Into the Breach. That's a good mix. Those are two really solid, uh, I, I guess Into the Breach isn't really a rogue. Well, it kind of is a roguelike. I would actually call it a roguelike, sure. 
just having a conversation with myself. Don't worry about it. Okay, we got fire clay here. Fire clay. Why? What did he do? He embezzled funds from Mr. Yamamoto. I'm a little salmon boy, salmon boy, salmon boy. Okay. Congratulations, we done it. We are almost... Look at this new base location, man. It's friggin'... It's pogging. <laughs> it's pogging to a point of no return. I mean, look at all of... This is all medium fertility soil as well. I mean, it's beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. You don't think levels are random? Uh, I'm not sure. I think they are. I think they are random. But you may be right. I've been wrong before. Don't get me wrong. What's the difference between this and Minecraft? Um, so this is... A purely survival based game. There's no, you know, you need to get to the Copper Age before you can have a pickaxe. And there's a really in-depth cooking system. The only similarity to Minecraft is just that there are blocks, really. Um, but actually, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's easy to say it's similar to Minecraft. Because it does look like Minecraft, but it's, gameplay wise, it's, not at all like Minecraft. Minecraft, you have a hard time dying. In this game, you have a hard time staying alive. Alright, this is going to be our base. Do we want to build... Yeah, we'll build our house on the flat part here. And then we can uh, we can do something with the rest of this later on. Do we want to build it here or do we want to build it here? These are both relatively flat. Or we could build it here. This is frozen though, which has me worried. I'm scared of ice. We'll build it here. This is a nice big flat part. Staying alive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We'll go by a thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, we'll have a nice 13 by 13 interior. I'm going to make... A, this is actually way too big, isn't it, for a base? Um, we can maybe get away with it. I think it may be slightly too big, but we shall see. And you know what? Let's not build a friggin' square. Let's build, like... I know what we're gonna do. Watch this. You're, you're about to have your minds blown, guys. I'm gonna blow your mind harder than Mr. Yamamoto when I told him about locking in the deal at 380 points. Watch this. We're gonna go... A bing, a bong, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six... This is going to be the most insane thing you've ever seen in your life. This is a much more interesting shape for a base. Just imagine this. This will be a little like smelting corner. We'll have a kitchen over here. We'll have a friggin lounge here. We can sit down. Sit down, chill out. Like this. Gonna be beautiful. From one big square to two exactly. We've taken the, the concept of a square and we've flipped it on its head. Did you know rectangles were only invented in the 1960s? Before that, everybody was using squares.
we'll go we'll go free high for now and then we can the roof is a is a pain in the ass but we can just fill it with dirt for the time being because we're classy like that I am of course going to get rid of all the grass in our base because I think apparently that means that drifters can spawn we don't want that We'll have a little fence area here as well for the garden. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. Let's dig up all of this uh, garbage. This is actually medium fertility dirt, which is really good. Um, we probably should save this. Although there's a lot of it around, so actually, you know what, we'll just turn it into uh, packed dirt. Hey, Cursed. How are you doing? Good to see you again. You disfigured that poor box. Did you say Cogmine? On what? Yeah, I, I, I think we'll do some Cogmine. I haven't played it for over a year, but you know what, I'm not going to practice. We're going to go in blind, we're going to pra we're going to learn together. So no one ever considered the possibility of a rectangle before 1960. No, nobody. People didn't know that such a shape could ever exist. And you know who invented the rectangle? Guess. Gunther von Rectus. Exactly. I see you're an aficionado of uh, shapes. Yeah, Gunther von Rechtus invented the rectangle in the 60s. He claims he did it um, whilst out in the wilderness, but the story is he took a bunch of acid and he envisioned, like, a shape that nobody else had ever noticed before. Look at this base. This base is going to be friggin... Insane. Now get out of here. You know what we should be doing is actually gathering this grass. Okay, looks like we made it just in time. Beautiful. Such an esoteric shape. It truly is. What you want to know is who invented doors? Um, Jim Morrison, Ray Manzarek, um, wait, John Densmore is the drummer, and Ro do it, Ronnie, do it. What is his surname? What is the guitarist's surname? Can't believe I've forgotten it. They're like one of my all-time favorite bands. You prefer to use the Quadragon. Hot damn, baby. Tell me more about the Quadragon. Is that four dragons? So they're taped together? Okay, we're doing this by hand here, boys. Get it all under our fingernails. Wow, that grass grew back instantly. Alright, now we use this really nice, high-quality dirt to build a... Never mind. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait. I always get the recipe wrong. I always get the recipe wrong. pa pa pum pum Alright, that will almost be enough to fill this place in. Beautiful. We took the dirt and we replaced it with slightly desaturated dirt. You've never seen such a play. Maybe we should build a, f a, a bed, finally. Hurrah, pom pom. Mr. Stream, I want to rewatch a VOD? Then please type exclamation point YT. That's actually not true anymore, Stream Elements. I've changed that link. 
that now leads to the 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 YouTube channel that isn't vods. So, who's the fool? Get your shit right. Damn, we're one short. Good thing we brought this. Can I interchange? Oh my god, that's revolutionary. Look at that. A beautiful structure. Okay, where do we... I feel like the entrance needs to be like... You know what? A, 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 a friggin... A noob would put the entrance right in the middle of here. We're putting the entrance here. Okay. Perfect. Just friggin' perfect. And then we'll have a little back entrance at some point. But for now... Pur up a pom pom. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. So let's. Uh, we have a whole bunch of cobble left as well. We should probably do something with this. Yeah, stupid stream elements, dude. What else can we make out of cobblestone? I don't know. I do know that I want to make a bed, though. One, two, three. Perfect. This allows us to sleep for seven hours, I believe. Um, it's now 9pm. How do we make a door? Okay, we need two... Problem is, oh, I just realized there's no fucking trees up here, dude. Well, there's a couple. Sorry for swearing. I don't know why I swore there. I, I, I try to swear less on stream because I do swear quite a lot, kind of without thinking in real life. What kind of tree is this? A crappy maple? It's a larch. Dude, I've never heard of... I've heard of a larch. I've never seen a larch in this game before. We should probably fish for seeds, but you know what? Let's just friggin' chop it down. Swearing really is, you know? You, you can you can get a... Uh, you can... Like, you can use swearing for emphasis. You can use it for happiness. You can use it for, for anger. It's a very versatile um, way of communicating. Wouldn't you concur? Okay, um... Let's, uh, let's build a door. Let's sleep. I've got a feeling that this place is going to be perpetually wet, so it feels like home for me. Can we actually sleep? Uh, like in Valheim, you can't sleep unless you have a roof, but... Oh, we can absolutely sleep. Good night. I'm oh my hunger's going down. Will we wake up before we starve to death? Let's find out. <laughs> Boom. Your hunger doesn't mean shit to me. Let's put that there for now. All right, we should build a little coal bunker here. If we, if this is going to be our our smelting area, and I do kind of want it to be, I feel like we need to build a little coal bunker. So, but you know what? We can do. We don't have to do that right now. Right now, let's focus on getting stuff moved over here. You know, this coal makes so much mess. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll just put some wood, like, in this corner for now. Probably keep it outside eventually. Pur up a pum pum. Alright, new base is looking good. Why is there a block of dirt? Because uh, the torches will burn out if they get wet. You see the sun in the distance. This is how, by the way, this is how it's like to live in the UK. 
where you can kind of get a glimpse of the sun if you're lucky. You can see like shadows, but then you look and it's just like clouds. And you're like, wow, how can I see the sun? Um... Wow, it stopped raining. Okay, it's no longer like the UK. Um, right, let's let's let's. Okay, here's what we want to do. We want to we want to grab some some reeds to make some more baskets. There's a forest here, which is great. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back. Let's grab some more stuff. We'll probably... Actually, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm so indecisive. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to build a cellar. Because we, we we desperately will need a cellar. So let's let's start by doing that. We're going to bring food over. It's going to spoil really quickly unless we can have a... Unless we have a good way of storing it. So... Let's focus on doing that before we move any food over. Yes, it doesn't really matter where we put the uh, the cellar. Actually, we don't want to put it against the wall. Uh, no, we do, actually. Let's just see how far we can dig down. Not very far, unfortunately. But we can mine this out now that we have a pick. So, it's not the end of the world. Doesn't have to be a big cellar. Apparently it helps as well if you um if you make all of these walls. Gabaruga is now following. Hey, Gabaruga, great name. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Oh, we're almost at 350 followers. Insane. Um Yeah, let's let's uh let's mine out some of this granite here. I'm going to try and keep the cellar like to the same shape of the house, but it doesn't need to be like this is plenty big enough for a cellar, I think. This looks like a rock on a stick. Yeah, it really does. No, this isn't a pick, this is a shovel. This is a pick. This is our first piece of stone we've ever mined. The reason I'm going down a bit deeper here is because I want to make sure that the ceiling to this place is cobblestone. Because apparently that matters. We really do need to go and grab food here though. We Our hunger bar is going to go down probably quite quickly. Two at a time, baby. My cock videos got you here. Good stuff. Helps us spend time. Oh, I'm really happy. Thank you so much for uh, for making the journey over. Appreciate it. More more cock to come soon, by the way. It's always nice to know that people come here. There's a raccoon here. It's always nice to know that people come here from YouTube because it does take effort and I actually really value the fact that you have come over from YouTube because, you know, you have to click on a link and then you got to kind of come into the stream and then... So, it, I really appreciate it. Thank you. We'll go down one more layer. We can cook up another pickaxe, no problem. Love me some cock. Me too, baby. That's why I do cock daily. I actually do. I play I play like the daily every day except for weekends. Mostly just for YouTube, but it's it, it's fun, you know. YouTube gang. Yeah, you, you came over from from YouTube as well, Lockwitchan. All right. Here we go. This is now pretty much... We'll just dig out the sides, and then we'll go grab the food. And this is our new cellar. It's perfect.
Boom. I've never seen something so beautiful. How do we build ladders, by the way? We can't build these yet, I don't think. Oh no, we can. We totally can. Need sticks. Perfect. We'll put a trap door here eventually. For now though, this is fine. Help me, I'm trapped. Alright, you know what? Let's take the bottom ladder off then. Let's be economical. With our ladder usage. Okay. Yeah, we need wooden planks for a trapdoor. That's fine. Uh, okay, cool. We we have a cellar. This house is pretty much ready to go. Oh my god, it's like Silent Hill. Everything's so foggy. Um... Would love a place to store stuff. Since we're here, would be good to dump stuff. We would need. We would need some reeds for that, though, unfortunately. And I'm guessing they don't happen this high up. Yeah, fine. Let's just go back to our old base, grab as much food as we can, drop off anything that we don't need on us right now. And then come back. Isn't the daily kind of lame since people can use debug? Um, I don't know. I actually don't think so because I, I often I often come first or second. And I play the daily within an hour. I have a one hour time limit. So I don't think people are using debug. Economical aka lazy. Yeah, you're not wrong with the ladders. I could have easily made more. Look at this beautiful arch. You know who built this? Gunther von Recht. Gunther von Rechter. Uh, anyway, get me out of here. So, the mission now is we go back, we grab all of the crock pots with the food that we've... I think I think we should actually also cook up all of the meat because the meat is going to spoil very, very shortly. We grab all of the crock pots that we have... We try and transfer all of them over without them spoiling. We put them in our brand new cellar. We don't waste any food. Archie. Archie. Oh yeah, Archie. You know Archie. Tavana knows Archie as well. Archie, aka Arch Nemesis. Hey, you know what? Moving base actually not that bad. I'm I'm just a little sad that our farm is all the way down here now. And I, I think things are gonna stop growing, but it's it's fine. Don't you see a bear? No, I think it was just a sloshing. Sloshing of the of the, the pond. When does something stop becoming a pond and become a lake, by the way? You ever wondered about that? It's all I think about on a daily basis. Oh yeah, this game looks incredible by the way. Like the 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 kind of animations and the 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 god rays. It's uh, it's a really nice looking game. Also there's there there, there is block gravity. Um should we see if we can fuck up the, um... I don't think it works like Minecraft where it chain reacts. Oh no, it kind of does. Oh, it shouldn't be doing this, should I? Okay, no, we're fine. Can you make antibiotics from spoiled meat? Quasi-logic. I wish. This game would be brutal. If you could get an infection in this game, it would be absolutely brutal. You ever think about like um like back in back in the old days, you could just like die from like getting a, a graze and it, it gets infected and it's like, well, see ya. Oh 
We may take the boat back. I do have a boat somewhere. Our base is right there, though. We can see it. So this is Mushroom Island. I think. Yeah, that's Mushroom Island. Individual block textures look wonky. Maybe you're broken by Minecraft. Uh, really? I don't think so. I think they definitely look... Obviously, they're more high-res than Minecraft. Um... You know, I, I tend to find with, with blocks in a in a kind of game like this, like, anything more than 32 looks a bit stupid. Anything below 16 looks equally kind of stupid. I think these are about 32. I don't think they go up to 64. Could be wrong about that, though. Yeah, I would say they're probably 32 by 32 pixels. Alright, let's go, uh, let's start by dropping off crap that we don't need, like dirt, and pack dirt, and friggin, we do actually need the larch, and the maple, okay, we'll, we'll bring that, the, uh, the stones, honestly, they can stay here for now, we can come back for them if we need them. So let's, let's quickly cook any food that we haven't cooked. Actually, no, we can't because we've run out of crock pots. Which means that's, that meat that we have is probably going to spoil. Although we should eat right now as well. Nope, you're not a bowl. You're a bowl. All right. So let's grab these. Oh, that is an empty crock pot. Okay. Okay, now we sprint home. This meat is going to go bad, I think. It's only fresh for 11 more hours. Might have been a good idea to cook it, but, uh, oh well. If it's still here when we come back for the third and final time, then we will, uh, we will cook it up. But right now we just need to, to move real quick. Is it something like Terra Firma Craft? Yes. I believe, I may be wrong, but I think this this game was originally inspired maybe or maybe some of the people that worked on terra firma craft developed this has its own engine it's also a voxel based game so all of the blocks you see in this game can be chiseled so you could make kind of like that mod for minecraft the chisel mod you can do that in this game everything is voxel based so you can actually get really creative with um if you look at some of the pictures on their website, you can make anything that you can think of, you can make. There's a dead fox down there. But yeah, it's just way more survival-oriented than um, Minecraft. It is a survival game. Rather than a building game. Although there is a, there is a creative mode, I believe, where you can just build. Oh, by the way, guys, we just hit 350 uh, followers. Amazing. Thank you so much. In fact, Garabuga, you were my 350th... Um... Hold up, Garabuga. One moment. I'm doing something. There we go. We did a random gift sub in, in your name there. It was random mostly because I don't know how to gift a specific person a sub, but... There we go. 350 followers. Crazy. Where the hell am I? How do I get over here? <gasps> what is this? It's spell. Oh, okay. Here we go, this way.
think we just head straight north now and we're there. You can do targeted gift subs via their names in chat. Ah, okay. Well then, you know what? Garabuga. There you go. Take it easy, Tavana. Thank Rogue you so much for being here. Underscore gifted a tier one sub to Gabaruga. Gabaruga. Thanks for being here, Tavana. Hope to see you again. We're trying to aim to play um, Finnish Story on Mondays. And then on Wednesday, we'll be playing uh, both Cogmind and Into the Breach. So I hope to see you then. If not, have a great week. And uh, thank you for stopping by, as always. Oh, nearly fell in a hole. No baby rabbit there. Very cute. All right, we need to get up and over this mountain. Hopefully our food is still fine. I recognize this area anywhere. Just broke my ankle, don't worry about it. Yay, thanks again, less than three. Hey, less than three, right back at you, Garabuga. Thank you very much for the bits, appreciate it. Also, yeah, I hope your, uh, your five-year-old loves... Uh, Loves Vintage Story. It, I would recommend maybe uh, turning off the mobs that spawn at night. They're very brutal. But if you play it just as a survival game without the uh, the, the mobs, I think they'll love it. It's a very pretty game. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Do, 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 do. Creative mode, yeah, awesome. Yeah, I, 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 we do actually have a, we had a Minecraft server for a, for a few months. It was really only me and like two other people that played on there. But building in Minecraft is like it's so much fun. It's it's such a great game for building. Problem is playing a uh, playing Minecraft after playing Vintage Story now is a bit like man, this is easy mode. Before I before I got all of the achievements for Caves of Cud, my my greatest like gaming achievement was uh was beating the Ender Dragon in my hardcore survival world. That was really fun. All right, let's put all of this stuff away and hope that it hasn't spoiled. Take a chance on me. All right. I don't know why I've got ABBA stuck in my head, by the way. I haven't listened to ABBA. Why can't I put this down? There we go. Once we... These... these um, The dates that you see on the crock box will actually get higher once we seal up the... Um... In fact, I don't know if I can show it. I don't know how long it takes to, um, to happen. But if we seal up the... That's terrifying. We seal up the thing here and we try and find our way around. These uh these days here, the time before they spoil should increase. But it might not happen like immediately. But it'll probably go up to like, I don't know, like twenty days or something. Yeah, it gets dark dark at night, especially underground, but I think I brought I hope I brought torches. I did indeed. Anyway. Cool. Cellar is done. Uh, where's my pick? You definitely need to go grab some actual copper before this pick breaks. There we go. Cellar. Cellar, cellar, cellar. Ooh, ooh. Cellar, cellar, cellar. E, e. All right. Now let's go and grab some um. Well, let's, let's build a door, first and foremost. Let's 
piece of garbage. Hold up. Beautiful, look at that. Um, I think we're now kind of safe. Kind of being the... Uh, emphasis on, on kind of. Um, we need to go and grab some reeds so we can build some chests. Just replace our torch as well. There we go. Then we'll put some windows in at some point. Where did we get all this medium fertility soil from? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We don't have anywhere to store it. I keep getting confused. Then after we've built some, some chests, I will probably call it here. Well, today, it's been, uh, we've been streaming for five hours now. We were so bad. I Spelunky too. I really enjoy the game, but I'm so bad at it. I need to practice, practice, practice. I used to be like that with Isaac. And don't get me wrong. There are still times in Isaac where I'm just like, oh, I'm terrible at this game. But I'm actually pretty decent at Isaac. I've I've got like 75% of all of the achievements. If I ever got dead god which is all of the achievements i think that would probably be my all-time greatest uh gaming achievement it is not easy okay, we need to mark where all of this clay is because this is all going to be really useful a handful of berries here Friggin' delicious. Um, right, yeah, we're looking for reeds. There's some reeds over here. I'm gonna build a whole bunch of uh, reed chests. What are they called? They're called, um... You know what? There's a great way of finding out. You can hover over stuff and press H and it will show you all the things you can build with that. These are what we want. Read chests. Yeah. Okay. Oh, also, we need to go back for that beehive. We found a beehive earlier as well. We've only found the one so far. Okay, there goes our knife. Luckily we had a backup. I think we need 24 reeds to build a single chest. Any down here? Nope, none. There's another small pond just below us here. There's an even bigger one actually to the side. Let's go check that one out. Yeah, there's no reeds there. It's starting to get dark. Chicken is taking damage somewhere. Here we go. We could get like two chests, I'll be happy for now. And then once we go back to our old base for the last time, we can grab the uh, the chests that we've got there and bring them over. But well, I think we need like 48 reeds here. There's a reed growing under the bush. There we go. We got it. Bing bong. 
All right, any more? Yes. There's a bunch of um, quartz growing. Uh, growing. There's a bunch of quartz under this uh, little pond here. Good to know for later. Okay, nearly there. Right before it gets dark. Perfect. Come on, we're so close. 46. Would I say we need 48, right? If it's 24 each. Give me one more read. Give me, baby, one more read. There must be a read around here somewhere. Uh, What about Tiny Pond? Do you have any reads? You do not? You're a failure. Oh, baby, baby. Okay, this is a pit. There's a pond down here. Let's check this one out. You know what I like about this location? No friggin' bears. Just lots of juicy rabbits. What the hell is that? What did we just pick up? Oh, berries. I think a rabbit dropped some berries. Read. Alright, perfect. There we go, yeah. Let's go plop these back down at, at our base. And I think our next... Uh, Thing is probably we're going to do a lot of clay forming next week. We're going to build an anvil mold. We're going to go mining for copper. It's going to be good times. Not very good at the the timing my jumps here. Glad there's a forest nearby because where we are has no oh my god. And the devil shrink that just opened in front of me. I think shrinkter might be one of the most satisfying words to say. Don't you think? Don't you think to? Hear more portals of hell opening. More clay again, which is great. Let's mark this. We actually haven't found much clay at all so far, so the fact that we can get some so close to our new base is going to be great. Obviously, it's kind of, it doesn't look great right now, but it will with time. All right, for now, let's just chuck these down kind of out of the way. Over here is fine. Hey. I will organize these properly at some point. So if we want to make our little kitchen like here for now, that's fine. Okay. So yeah, next time we just need to go grab all the stuff from our old base, bring it back, grab some copper, and we'll be friggin' good to go. We also need to focus on making a farm, but... I don't really want to plant it along one of these ponds. I want to get uh, the bucket so that we can we can put a farm like down here. I mean, we could put it here. And I guess we should, really. I only care about growing re uh growing um flax right now. 
But yeah, there we go. Not a bad place to stop, I don't think. And I will indeed be stopping now because uh, it's been a long stream and I need to go and have some food before I go to bed. It's actually very late. Maybe I won't have food. Anyway. Thank you guys very much for being here today. I hope you've uh, enjoyed some vintage story. I know I have. Just saving my world here. It probably will lag when I get to the main title. No, we're good. Okay, even better. Um, let me see who's online. I might send out a little raid to uh, one of my one of my pals. Thanks for being here, Dark Twain. Thank you very much. Lots of lots of streamers active, but none of them are. Uh... Yeah. Okay. No, we're just we're just gonna end. I think. Why don't we play ourselves out with some uh, some music, courtesy of uh, Frank the Witch. Cool, yeah, I will be back tomorrow, 6pm GMT. We're going to be playing uh, Caves of Cud, starting a brand new run. So if you want to be here, would love to have you. Don't miss it. It's going to be fun. Take it easy. Gabaruga, thanks for being here. Thank you for being my 350th follower. I appreciate it immensely. Back tomorrow with some Cud. Then Wednesday, Cogmind. And... I need to write this down. What did I say? Cogmind and into the into the breach. Um, take it easy, guys. Have a great evening, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.